Hey, 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 good morning, you guys. It's me. What's up? Um, we're going to be playing some Banish today. Uh, and let me just introduce uh, my YouTube guys. Hey, YouTube, how you doing? Uh, it's Hamby with Hamby Plays Games. Uh, we're going to be playing a little bit of Banish today. And um, we actually, uh, starting Minecraft recently, we had a conversation on the channel about uh, Banished. And uh, people always tell me they don't know how to survive in the game with Banished. I really like this game. Uh, it's a real simple sim type game, survival, <clears throat> and uh, the basic premise of the game is you're a colony of people who have been banished from another society and you go out into the wilderness and try to survive. And I haven't played this game since August of 2014, it's January of 2015, it's been months. It's been a lot of updates, um, there's even a bunch of uh, mods you can get for it now. Uh, as you can see here, uh, mods, which is crazy. I was like, there was never mods before last time I played it. So, let's play a new game of Banished. Uh, what's up, Gun Rapper? Good morning. Uh, we're going to call this... We're going to name this after uh, one of my favorite Doctor Who characters, Clara Oswin Oswald. In fact, we'll call it Oswinville. Oswinville. Uh, terrain type valleys. Uh, yeah, valleys sounds good. Terrain size, let's do medium, just to be fair. Uh, climate will do fair. Uh, disasters will do off. Starting conditions, medium. A medium game begins with five families. Clothing, food, firewood, tools, and construction materials are provided. A storage barn has already been built. Some seeds for fields and orchards are available. So we're gonna start there. Um, the other options are hard mode. A hard game begins with our four families. Small amount of clothing, food, firewood, and tools are provided. No seeds for farming are available. Or easy mode. <clears throat> easy game begins with six families. Large amount of clothing, food, firewood, building materials, and tools are provided. Homes and storage areas have already been built. Seeds for fields and orchards are available for, as well as a herd of livestock. We're actually gonna start on medium. Uh, just so I can kind of show well, I have a, a, a I have like a uh, I, It's like this is advice for banish. I can't think of the word off the top of my head This is just kind of not a how-to this is what I've always done to have sustainability in the game uh, And for me in this survival game the name of the game is literally sustainability uh, the biggest thing that people always do is they overstep commands they overstep telling their villagers to do stuff they seem to overdo things and then they get buried and then something happens and the whole world is wiped out or everyone's starving or everyone's dying of cold or everyone's sick that's the really funny thing about banish being a survival game uh let's pause this right off the bat I'm trying to remember uh space bar pauses it all right hero hero on socks is here okay we've paused the game i'm trying to remember the controls you guys uh, simulation speed, no, we'll leave that, we'll pause that for now. Let's bring up some of the tools and reports. Uh, general statistics about the town, yes, I like that one, and we will keep it here, I like it there. Uh, log of events, I like that, I'm gonna keep that down here, actually, whoops, whoops, go back over here. Hold on, I'm controlling two computers right now. Um, let's put this where you guys can see it. All right, we'll put the event log right there. <clears throat> hmm, I don't like that black border on the game frame. You know what? We're just going to leave it for now. That's fine. I'm just gonna, it's fine. I'm just going to leave it how it is. Um, okay, so we have the event log. We have the statistics, overhead area. Yes, I like the overhead area map. Uh, this is nice. It's convenient. I'll put this... Uh, mm, actually, I don't need it all the time. Let's just put it over here for now. Uh, what do we got here? Jobs. I like the jobs window. We'll put that over here. Stop moving. Um, what else have we got? Limits on resource production. Yes, we need this one. Put that one there. This one tells us what 
resources we've got going on and what's actually put the map over here put resources over here just sort of fill the screen up a little bit with some of this stuff increase priority paths okay we're done with that now uh, the first thing these folks are gonna need are homes but uh, as you can see we have uh, some stuff has already been collected we have a storage barn the storage barn is 42 percent full it's got some hide coats Hey, Tinkerbell Softball, how you doing? We've got iron tools and we have potatoes for food. Over here, we have in our stockpile, we have firewood, stone, iron, and logs. These are like materials for building. So what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna start out, oh my God, it has been a long time since I've played this. Let's zoom out a little bit. Um, my goal is, again, sustainability, you guys. And this is a really nice starting area. Uh, you've got materials, you've got room to grow, you've got room to build. Uh, the biggest thing is these people are going to need homes. Once the homes are built, they're going to need to replace those resources. They're going to need food. They're going to need firewood. They're going to need coal. They're going to need stone. They're going to need, you know, everything. So, um, they're going to need leather for coats. You know, I mean, these, these are a lot of things he's going to need. Tink, I'm so sorry to hear you're not feeling well. I hope you feel better soon. We are recording this live. Uh, for YouTube today. We're going to be doing um, a couple of videos on um, Banished for YouTube Tink, so please feel free to hang out, ask any questions you have about the game, and I really do hope you feel better, because uh, being sick sucks. Uh, yes. Um, so, let's um, let's do some stuff, you guys. We've got to set down some homes. <clears throat> you have wooden houses. You can see they take uh, 16 logs and 8 stone. Uh, you have stone houses, take 24 logs, 40 stone, and 10 iron. I think that's iron. Anyway, uh, and then we have a boarding house, which is like a big home for like, um, when you have nomads coming to your town, and hopefully we'll get to nomads at some point. Um, other things that you can build, you'll see, be roads, dirt roads, stone roads, wooden bridges, and tunnels. The bridge and tunnel crowd. Uh, you have the storage barn, we already have one of those, but you need more of them in the game. Stockpiles, we have that. Uh, market it's a later it's later in the game we'll need a market as the town gets bigger they will need places to go with their supplies uh, and then you of course you have a trading post that you could put on water and then uh, no trading post does not go on water we'll get to the trading post later on oh, clicked on market and then you have the trading post that goes on the water and this uh, will capture ships um, I'm trying to remember how to turn everything. I haven't played this game in forever. Um, no, no, no. How do you turn things? We'll get to that in a second. How do you turn things again? Input, controls, rotate view, rotate view, rotate structure, right and or R and T, R and T, got it. R and T. So this would be. There we go. Yeah. So you have the, you have W A S D, Q E R and T. Okay. Those are controls. All right. We're not building a trading post right now, though. Uh, then other things you have, you have your town services. You have the well, of course, uh, for putting out fires. You have schoolhouse for training or teaching your people. Uh, hospital for making them feel better. You have Town Hall for things like showing records of the game and also being able to accept nomads, which is kind of cool. You have the chapel, of course, which makes people happy. And of course, the cemetery, when people die, uh, they want to be able to bury their loved ones. And <laughs> it actually improves happiness to have both a chapel and a cemetery. What's up, Rez? Uh, we will be going through food first. Yes, I will show you that in just a second. Uh, then over here in food production, you have crop fields, orchards, uh, pastures, fishing docks, hunting cabins, and gatherers huts. For our purposes in sustainability, you guys, that's the thing I always want you to know about. Uh, sustainability in this game. We're going to be using a gatherers hut and hunting cabins almost exclusively. That's going to be a big uh, focus of our strategy for this because uh, those allow for constantly capturing animals and food and all sorts of stuff of that nature and those need forest so what we're going to be doing is you have the woodcutter who cuts logs into firewood you have the forester's lodge who uh cut down trees and manage forest 
You have the herbalist who gather herbs, which is better than it's uh, early game. So you get herbalist first, you get herbs, it makes people feel better and they're healthy. And then later in the game to battle sickness, you get the hospital. Uh, you have the blacksmith who makes tools so your uh, workers can keep working. Uh, you have the tailor to make warm coats for your people so they don't freeze in the winter. You have the tavern to brew alcohol out of your fruits. Um, but this also makes the citizens happy, but it doesn't make them healthy. Uh, then you also have the mine to gather iron and coal, and you have a quarry to gather stone. Now you can see here, we have, uh, is it iron that's on the on the world map? Uh, it's iron or coal, iron and stone are on the world, and you collect these, but when you run out of resources on the world, then you have to dig. Uh, you put, of course, mines go into mountains, quarries go into big open areas. The only thing about these is when they're done, they leave a permanent scar on the landscape. They're always going to be part of the landscape that never goes away. So for example, you want to make sure that if you do want a quarry, you do want a mine, that you actually do want those things because uh, these buildings will not go away and when the resources are exhausted, uh, they the, the, the space is gone. It's now just, you know, destroyed. <laughs> <clears throat> Over here, you can uh, remove structures, remove resources, harvest trees. You can just go whole area and harvest trees, harvest stone, harvest iron all off the ground. And then, of course, you have, as I was just mentioning, the mine and the quarry for more iron, coal, and stone later in the game. Now, we, though, need to build a few houses. I like to build... Um, I like to build sort of villager type. I don't like to build in very rigid cities. I don't like to build roads necessarily. Um, I like to just sort of make it sort of fun and, 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 and fancy free. And the reason for that is uh, you're going to see I plant a forester's lodge. And the forester's lodge is going to create a forest in a circled area. I also throw down a hunting cabin and a gatherer's hut. Because with the forest, you get more game and you get more um, herbs or like um, <clears throat> uh, like mushrooms and berries that they pick off the ground, the gatherer's hut. So the forest dirt is going to be a key part of our sustainability. The more we have of a forest and the more we can hunt and gather, the more food we're going to have and that be able to have an actual world that just continues on. Um, you can add farms and you can add um, pastures and stuff like that. You can add orchards, but that stuff uh, sometimes takes longer time than the sustainability of the forest because the forest will also give you lumber which is really key part of the game as well. So let's throw down a couple of homes. I like to keep the city away from the, uh, the burp, no turn and then uh, it's R and T. Look at this, we're just, it's a little neighborhood. We're gonna build a little neighborhood real quick. Um, and then we will increase the priority to make sure they build this first. Uh, and let's then start the game bump up our speed to 10 and let's start. And now they're going to rush out and build. Build, build, build. The little worker bees. And I think I'm I think I need a fifth house or a sixth house. And let's pause real quick and I'll throw down two more homes just to make sure these folks have uh, homes on a permanent basis. We might put a fishing dock out there later. Um, so let's just increase our neighborhood. I'm going to make a, a kind of pathway. There we go. Uh, and let's go back and play. Great thing about this game is you can set things to happen and then sit back and watch them happen. Um, the And also on medium, you have enough starting resources to make the, building a few homes actually pretty easy and simple. Uh, what do we need? They just need to build. Okay, I forgot to assign workers. Up here, all right, so professions. This is why we have this open. Uh, builders, I need 12 builders currently to build. Uh, thank you, Raz. I need 12 builders uh, to build the homes. So let's just uh, send in four. Um, I have 11 people in my village total. total. Uh, and we're gonna um, set four of them to build these four homes. They're actually gonna do it really quick. As Rasen just pointed out in chat, yes, you need to have builders. Totally forgot about that, thanks, Raz. 
Oh, spring one. Jatina has become an adult and is working as a laborer. And here you can see people moving in. Cynthias and Kalanit are in together, 17 and 11. They'll have some kids. Quintus, Susanna, and uh, Jalice. All these names. Zavi, Samathali, Derrit, Adin, and Jatina, and... Oh, this is a full house over here. But, uh, luckily, everybody has a home. What's going on? The reserve of firewood is low. That's what happens when you build with everything. Hey, Dom, how you doing, man? All right. So, we have our workers. They've done their job. Houses are built. Now, we need to give them jobs. We need to get them resources. We need to get moving on our sustainability. Now that the base of the town has been built, they have structures, they're fine. What I want to do is... Let's zoom back out a little bit. I want to build the Forester's Lodge, and I want to put it in an area that is going to maximize my forest. Uh, and as you can tell, any buildings that are in uh, the forest areas will not be forest. So I want to try to avoid our city as much as possible. And as you can also see, forests do not grow on mountains um, or like hills. And I don't want to go too far away because this is where the people work. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to drop our Forester's Lodge. Dom, I'm doing great. We're recording this for YouTube right now. If you have any questions about Banish, please feel free to ask them in chat. Uh, YouTube, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube and you want to be a part of the live experience, go to twitch.tv slash handyplaysgames. I stream almost every single day. Stream a ton of different games, as you can tell by my YouTube channel with Assassin's Creed Unity uh, being one of my most popular video series on YouTube. Actually, is my most popular video series on YouTube. Uh, now, we put down the Forester's Lodge. I'm also going to need uh, food. I need a hunting cabin. Forester's Lodge is there, and I want to overlay these as much as possible because the hunting cabin takes advantage of uh, forest. Throw down the hunting cabin, and let's also throw down a gatherer's hut. And like I said, these are taking advantage of the inherent forest in the area. Buying a joystick today to play some Elite Dangerous? That sounds cool. I wish I was into that game. I, I need to look into that game. All right, so let's get them going. In the meantime, actually, let's... Uh, while that's being built, let's remove these resources right here. Get our people working on removing stone. Removing the stone will also increase our forest, you guys, and some iron, whatever we've got. Whatever iron we've got, let's grab it, grab all the iron, and then let's set them to go. Now the laborers will do the gathering. The builders will do the building. The laborers will also gather m materials for these buildings that they're gonna build. And as they get built, they'll need workers. And that's what the laborers are for. And once I'm done building, I don't need builders anymore, but they will go back to the laborer pool. I think, Resend, that's kind of the... I think that's part of the charm of the game is that you are never satisfied. You always want to keep rebuilding and trying new things. All right, let's pause this real quick. Uh, whoops. No, we're not collecting iron. No, no iron collecting. Uh, Forester's Lodge. I do need to have some people working here. So let's... Let's assign two workers to start and let's bump up the log limit to 400 because we need logs so that we can chop down firewood so that we can uh, keep our, our people warm. And their job is to both cut and plant trees. So this area right here will very quickly become densely forested. It's really cool. All right, let's start up again. And as the hunting lodge comes online, we'll throw two workers into that. Boom, let's throw two workers here. And let's increase the food limit. Mm, I think the one thing I always wondered is why that was never to 10,000 so that they, your limits is if they reach 10,000 food, they stop creating food. So you wanna make sure that your limits are high so that your people are constantly stockpiling and, and, and t making sure to take care of the, for the bad times, like a bad winter or a plague or something. So you can see the reserve of firewood is low, the reserve of logs is low, the reserve of stone is low. So we're collecting all the stone, we're collecting these trees over here, uh, and then as these buildings come online so I have food, we will then uh, build a woodcutter to make firewood. That's our next goal. 
We don't need four builders when we only need three. Let's pause it right there. Gather food for us. So now we have two places that are gathering food, and the other thing the uh, forest, the hunting cabin does, is also gather uh, leather because they will hunt animals and gather leather, which allows for coats to keep our people warm. Of course, I get a text message as I'm streaming. <laughs> so do you guys have any questions so far? Pause real quick because I stopped paying attention for a second. Don't need workers at the moment, but I will in a second. I'll put those back. Um, so now what we need is we need a woodcutter. No, not that. Woodcutter because we need to make logs. Um, and again, I'd like to centralize my town as much as possible uh, to not take advantage of my forester's lodge and uh, ruin that. And I don't want to get rid of some of my oceanfront real estate, but. That's fine. Woodcutter right there is fine. Um, and let's zoom in. Tricomb Trent, how you doing, buddy? We're recording live for YouTube, and uh, we're doing some Banish today, man. If you have any questions, ask. Can we make a marijuana farm? No, unfortunately. That should be a mod on Steam, right? Steam, get on that. <laughs> Thank you so much for the tweets and the retweets, you guys. I'm always appreciative of that. The support is amazing. Thank you. Um, all right. Oh, I have to have builders. Duh. No, I've... Uh, Hero, I don't know if that's a different... I don't know if that's been added to the game. I've never run out of deer. Uh, and that's... And here's why. When you have a forester's lodge, the forester's lodge will replenish the forest, and the forest attracts the deer. There is a mod for a hemp, hemp farm. There you go. There you go. Maybe we'll check out some of the mods today, too. Oh, the Iron Curtain mod includes it as a crop. Interesting. Okay. I love that you can zoom in and you can see people doing stuff. Look, they're working... Uh, they're planting trees. Look at this. They're planting new, fresh growth trees. You have the animals that are here. These will be displaced. Oh, and we need a woodcutter. And let's bump this up to 500, just so we have firewood. Uh, we're going to need more storage very soon. So let's, uh, let's build a new stockpile. And we'll build that over here next to the woodcutter. And that way, uh, the stockpile will be close to the woodcutter. The woodcutter can go home to the work and to their supplies all at once. Gatherers will pick up the supplies, bring them to the stockpile, and so forth. I'm going to break down that stockpile eventually and probably put another storage bar next to it, since this stockpile is actually roughly three times its size. I love the music in this game. Love it. This coffee's terrible. Uh, now we're going to need a blacksmith. Let's see. We are... <clears throat> we have 25 store tools. We have 20 coats. We're going to need a blacksmith, and we're going to need a tailor. Yeah. Reserve of firewood is low, but it is being... It's been addressed. It's being worked on. Uh, so let's... Um, We need a blacksmith for tools. Uh, and let's uh, rotate the blacksmith to be near the stockpile. And we're going to need a tailor for coats. Again, I want this near the stockpile. And boom. Uh, 
Reserve of logs is log. I know, I know it is. Jeez, it's log, it's log. It's big, it's heavy, it's wood. Uh, and let's bump up the log limit just so they continually are making logs. <laughs> no, Rasen, it was the other way around. I chugged the coffee and I looked back in the mug and said that coffee was terrible. <laughs> uh, now he is at his maximum is what he's saying he's like oh, I can't do anymore um, fuel limit stored firewood why are you not building more Just bump everything up we need a blacksmith blacksmith Bump up the tools so we're never low on tools. And uh, the blacksmith will start by making log and iron tools. Uh, later, you can do steel tools with log, iron, and coal. The only way you can get coal is if you dig it up out of the ground. Um, let's see here. When they're done building, we're going to have them go clear cut a big area for materials. And uh, what I'm going to do is um, let's throw down a road. Let's throw down a road like this. Like that. And like that. That's going to be a road that's going to take them out to here. And I'm going to clear cut all of this for materials. <clears throat> In fact, uh, let's just set that up to do. And like I said, this is how you can very quickly uh, overwhelm your resource management. Um, you send your people out to do stuff. And uh, if the pathing isn't correct, you can send your villagers out on the Batan Death March before you even know it. <laughs> Alright, that's going to wrap up part one of our banished sustainability village uh, with Oswinville. Uh, I'm going to uh, pause this here for YouTube. I'm going to keep streaming live on Twitch, obviously. Uh, please stick around for part two, YouTubers. Um, I'll have a link down below uh, once I have that posted on YouTube, youtube.com slash hambyplaysgames. Uh, thank you again so much for watching, and I will have more videos for you shortly. Thanks, guys.